Welcome back. Breaking barriers in the field of science. That is what ORNL scientist Clarice Phelps is doing in the field of research. Phelps holds the distinction of being the first black woman to help discover an element. Element 117, officially named Tennessee. Beyond her many accomplishments, she's sharing her love of science in the hopes that it will inspire more black girls to enter the field. Now, black women only make up 2% of STEM careers. Good morning, Tennessee anchor Tirsa Smith sat down with Phelps to learn more about her life story. This is probably one of the most fascinating interviews I'm going to get to do. I'm so excited to talk to you, Clarice. You are phenomenal. So first, let's just talk about Tennessee and your hand in helping discover this element. So in 2012, it was myself and a team of other people at ORNL where we uh, worked to purify one of the elements used as the target material for the confirmation discovery of element 117. Okay, you make it sound so simple, <laughs> and you know, it, maybe it is, it's not. But let's talk about how significant you being a part of this team um, really is. Did you even realize you will be one of the, the first black women to have a hand in discovering an element? No, no, I didn't. I mean, going into it, it was just one of the things that we had to do that day. We have to purify this uh, Berkelium, and so we did, and it took us a couple of months, and uh, then you just kind of move on to the next project, and, and that's how it was, and it wasn't until many, many years later that I found out that that's what happened. I was like, oh, I didn't even know. Surely there's got to be somebody else, but apparently there wasn't. <laughs> you know, I love looking at your resume um, and all that you've done to get to this point in your career. Um, how, was this always a love for you as a child? Yeah, really it was. I really loved science and tinkering with stuff, taking apart things, putting them back together. My seventh grade science teacher who provided me with my first uh, Mae Jemison poster, then um, 10th grade, my chemistry teacher, then moving on and getting my bachelor's in chemistry. So I always, always really love science. And you went to TSU, a historically yes, I black did. college and university. Yes, I did. Yeah. So, so what is, what's the path for you right now? What are you doing? So right now I'm currently working on my doctorate in nuclear engineering at UT. So uh, go Big Orange. And uh, hopefully, well, you know, everyone asks like, well, when are you going to be done? And I will say, hopefully soon. I, I say <laughs> they should give it to you on credit, but what do I know? What, you know, lastly, what do you think you represent for, you know, little black girls and little black boys to see someone like you, all children, but yeah. especially for those uh, to see you in I, this? I role. think it means uh, that they have something to look towards. You know, my journey wasn't perfect. It was very, you know, off the rails at some points. And so I just want to show, like, um, young children that, you know, no matter where you think your path is taking you, if you think it's taking you off where you want to go, you can still. Um, reach the destination that was meant for you. So I love yeah. it. Thank you so much for speaking Thank with you. me. You know, we'll make sure um, when we post this to our website to talk also about some of the youth programs you work with. Yes. Because maybe your child might be interested in being the next discoverer <laughs> of an element. Thank you so much. Thank you.